and gentlemen, we have with us Dr. Archana Bhattacharji, ma'am, an educator, social activist, philanthropist, and a former state badminton player. She has retired recently from her post as an associate professor in a government college in Jorhat, Assam, where she had served for 33 years with sincerity and dedication. As a researcher, she has presented more than 75 research papers at national and international seminars and conferences, both within and outside the country. She has also published 60 research papers on gender, Dalit, and educational issues in several reputed journals. Ladies and gentlemen, I would invite Honorable Dr. Arjuna Bhattacharji, ma'am, to address this beautiful conference. and hearty greetings and a smiling morning to all young friends from all parts of the world who have gathered here virtually to participate in this Kalam Youth Leadership Conference held as a tribute to the anniversary of our beloved president, late APJ Kalam. First of all, I'd like to thank the organizers co-foundation of Motihari Bihar, particularly its president, Mr. Munna Kumar, for bringing so many resourceful and dynamic people together under the aegis of this Kalam Youth Leadership Conference. This is truly incredible work, more so because of the present pandemic situation, which has turned the world topsy-turvy. There is a Chinese proverb, which I will paraphrase. It goes like this. Behind every able person, there are more able people. I think the Quaff Foundation is a standing example of this truth. So respect the chief guest, Dr. V. Pandraj, keynote speakers, Dr. Arun Tiwari Ji, distinguished guest speakers, Mr. K. Srinivasan, Mr. Ashtosh Kumar, Dr. Ram Bhuj, and all special guests invited audience and dear participants. I feel honored and privileged to get this opportunity to share some of my views and ideas based on my experience with all of you. Here, I'm reminded of a Tibetan Buddhist practice called Chod. The Tibetan word chod literally means cutting through. The practice entails elaborate introspective visualization, but at its heart, it is about cutting through our delusions in the forest of our lives and clearing a pathway to let in the light. Remember, behind the cloud, the sun is always shining. All our youth participants here will, in a sense, be practicing chod without being aware of what they are doing while they are articulating their experiences, cutting through all barriers, resistance, and conditioning. Remember, it requires tremendous courage to travel to that inner core in our life and reveal ourselves with all our strengths and weaknesses. I wish to thank all our dear participants in advance for coming forward to share their awesome stories. All will be leaving a rich legacy behind which will inspire and motivate many others in the years to come to do likewise. Remember friends, we are not on this planet permanently. A wise man had said, I quote, if you want to leave a legacy, do something worth writing or write something worth doing. In other words, a meaningful life must have a purpose. Time teaches us the value of life and life teaches us the value of time. If we waste time, 
what happens? Time will waste us. There are two events over which we have no control. One is birth and one is death. But what we decide to do in between is our choice. How will we have lived is determined by what legacy we leave for those who follow us. Good human beings, they never die. They only live forever through their good deeds. Our dear departed president, APK Kalam's life exemplifies this truth. I wanted to add purpose and meaning to my life. And so I took up teaching as a career. In my 33 years of service in a government college located in a rural area, I had the opportunity to learn a lot, more than what the course textbooks had taught me. I realized that the person who ends up teaching learns the most. I became a lifelong learner. I also learned that it is a lot easier to preach what I taught. But remember, we need to walk our talk too. In doing so, we gain credibility. In doing so, we gain credibility. And then at that point of time, realization also dawned that all our paper degrees are meaningless if it does not permit us to bring about any positive changes in the lives of others, particularly those who are marginalized and underprivileged. When we can help others, we must. We will never feel good about ourselves if we do not do so. Remember, service to humanity is service to God. Positive thinkers have always been in the minority, but they have always been a one-man army. I put my heart and soul into the formation of this one-man army and tried to bring about whatever positive changes I could within my capacity. I took up social work for empowerment of the youth and the women who are lesser privileged and think globally, but work locally became my guiding mantra. Most, of, most people, they die before they are dead. They waste their lives and when they don't have much time left, what happens? They regret it. My philosophy is a little different. I want to live every second, every minute, every hour and every day of my life in a meaningful way. In this game of life, there is no dress rehearsal. I repeat once again, in this game of life, remember, there is no dress rehearsal and no rewind button. We have to play our own game and live positive footprints in the sense of time with our thought, words, and deeds. So young friends, remember in the words of Shiv Kera, I quote, winners don't do different things. They do things differently, I unquote. The earlier you start in life, the better you are. You all are young, dynamic, and resourceful and have a whole life ahead of you. Strive for heights. But at the same time, make sure you live a purposeful and meaningful life in order to leave a rich legacy behind. I round up my speech with these words of the wise one. I quote, the lines on our palm do not decide our future. There are those without hands who not only write their own futures, but also those of others, I unquote. So friends, 
I wish this conference great success. I hope all who have assembled here will take back with them a rich legacy. And thank you once again for giving me a patient hearing. All the best. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am. Truly, truly amazing masses from your side. Or agar mein kahun ki ye tamam youths ke liye jitni excited thi, utni hi motivated bhi rahi. Or halaki ye main baar baar zikr kar raha hoon ki jara si der mein jab wo tamam youths jab apne apne zinda ko lekar jab is waqt is manch pe judenge, tab unki kya kuch istiti dikh rahi hai. Ye masses kahi na kahi tab tak imtizar jarur hume karayegi ki dasal kitna karib uske nazar aate hai. So it's amazing masses from your side, ma'am. Thank you very much. All right.